Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a love reading for the sign of Aries. These messages will be for January through June of 2021. They will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into the reading and see what messages Spirit has for you. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications whenever I post. So let's get started, shall we? So first, I'm going to start with the month of January. So I have longing, proposal, and loyal in the reverse. I feel like for the month of January, some of you may be longing to be in a relationship with someone who I heard does not treat you good, like who does not understand your worth. It's like you want to be married, you want to be in a commitment with this person, but it's like they can't give you what you want with this loyal. It's like you want them to be the one, but they're not the one for you. And it's like you're longing for this. For some of you, this is like you just longing to finally be in a healthy relationship. You longing to be married, have children, have the family that you desire, but just having difficulty meeting the right person. And I feel like for others of you, this is you longing for someone. This is for you longing for someone who may not be good for you. But because of the feelings that you have for this person, it's like, I heard settle. Like there's a part of you that want to settle for this person because of the emotional connection that you feel. But it's like, you know that this person is no good for you, but you still want to be with them. There's still a part of you that wants this relationship to work, despite the fact that this person can't give you what you want. Her commitment, yes, this person is not able to commit to you. Yes, I heard like third party, like they are still, you know, dating a lot of people. I heard, yeah, more than one person. Some of them are dating more than one person and they're not ready to settle down. But it's like you are, I heard different pages. It's like you and this person are on two different pages. Like you're ready to settle down. You're ready to commit, but this person isn't. It's like they're still finding themselves. They're still trying to figure out what they actually want out of life and what they want out of a, out of a relationship. So it's like, no, they can't give you the commitment that you want. Or the roles could be reversed as well. For the month of February, I have betrayal in the reverse. I have unexpected. I have self-love and I have regret. I just heard someone is going to be regretting the way that they treated you in the month of February. It's like they betrayed you. Yeah, they maybe had you in a third party situation and I just feel like they are going to be in deep regret over how they treated you because with this self-love, it's like you are going to be moving on with your life. You're going to be focusing on yourself and you're no longer going to be entertaining this person. And with this unexpected, it's like they are going to be shocked at just how quickly you moved on. Like how quickly you got over them. It's like you're really not going to be giving them the time of day. You are going to just fully be focusing on yourself. Focus on giving to yourself. Doing what makes you happy. And by them seeing how you move on. This is going to have them in regret. Because I feel like by you moving on and really pouring and to yourself. That's when they're going to start to realize that you know what? Oh. I made a mistake. You know, I finally see this person for who he or she is. Like I finally see their value. I see their worth. I see their quality, but it's going to be too late because you're going to be gone. 
and you're no longer going to want to entertain this person. So yeah, they're going to have regret because I heard stuck on them. They may be used to people being stuck on them. They may be used to people chasing them, but you're not going to be doing that. And by you not doing that, it's like you're going to become more attractive to this person. And that is when they're going to start regretting how they treated you. So let's look at March. I have celebration. I have frequency in the reverse. I have decisions and options in the reverse. And I have leaving. Okay. I heard someone made a decision about you and I choose you. So someone may have had a choice between you and another person or you could have had a choice between someone and another person that you were involved with but it's like I choose you so it's like either you know this person is going to choose you over the other person or you're going to make a decision between the two people that you're involved with but a choice is going to be made I feel like with this frequency in the reverse it's like after some reflection after some deep thought about what you want or after this person thinks about what they desire when it comes to a relationship, they're finally going to make a decision. And for some of you, they're going to end up choosing you. And I feel like with this leaving, it's like, yeah, they're going to choose you. They're going to choose to stay and be with you. And I just heard happy. I feel like this choice that they're going to be making is going to really make you happy or if you're going to be the one making a decision between two people this is going to make this person very happy that you chose them yeah because i heard dating for some of you you're just dating and it's like you're finally going to make a decision to commit to one person and to no longer date so yes, you're going to be choosing to stay. For others of you, you may be choosing to stay in a relationship. I heard reconciliation. So you may be reconciling in the month of March. Yes, making a decision to stay, to work on your relationship. Celebration, proposal. For some of you, you may be getting proposed to in the month of March. Yes, and I feel like after some contemplation, this person really um, did a lot of thinking about the next steps to take when it comes to this relationship. And they're finally going to make a choice to fully commit. So let's look at the month of April. I have Secret Admirer. I have Finances in the Reverse. And I have Release. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you may have to fork over some money in the month of April. I heard child support, so you may be placed on child support in the month of April, or maybe your child support will increase alimony, but you're definitely going to be paying out some money. In the month of April. I feel like for others of you. Someone is going to come forward. And express how they feel. With the secret admirer. Um, this person. With this finances in the reverse. They may try to woo you. So they may try to buy you. Like expensive gifts. And try to woo you. Try to really get you. Um, to be attracted to them. Or to get you to give in to them. And to accept their request, request for a date. Yeah, so somebody may be spending money on you in the month of April. Yes, yeah, someone who is very fond of you. Yes, I heard expensive taste. So for some of you, you have very expensive taste. So this person is going to be forking over some money to really impress you in the month of April. And for others of you, I heard child support. So yes, you are going to be paying out a substantial amount of child support in the month of April or the case, the child support case will be decided in the month of April and you're going to find out that um, you're going to be paying 
um, more than you intended when it comes to the child support payments. So let's look at the month of May. I have promise, I have deception, and I have affection. Okay. In the month of May, yeah, somebody's definitely being deceptive. I feel like they're going to promise you. Um, I heard I promise that I've changed. So this could be someone who's coming back from the past. And it's like they're going to promise you that they've changed. They're going to promise you that this time is going to be different, but it's not going to be. They're still going to be the same way. Yes, nothing has changed. They're still in a very toxic energy. Yes, I heard devil energy. So yes, this person is in the devil energy. Yes, and I heard Capricorn. So for some of you, this person may be a Capricorn who's going to be returning to you and trying to make you believe that they've changed, that you know they actually do want a commitment, a relationship with you, but that's not the case. Yes, they're going to be promising you something that they can't deliver. Again, for others of you, this is a new relationship, someone that you're going to be meeting. And Spirit says, be careful. Be careful with this person because they're not who they seem to be. Yes, they're definitely wearing a mask. They are wearing a mask. They are pretending that they are emotionally available, that they're ready to be settled down, that they're ready to give. That they're ready to be committed, trying to promise you the world, but they're not going to be able to give it to you because they're not ready. They're not ready to settle down. They're not ready to be devoted to one person. Yes, this person is definitely involved with someone else. I heard married. This person could even be married. So definitely pay attention. I heard red flags. So this person is going to show a lot of red flags. So pay attention in the month of May because this person is not who they portray themselves to be. For the month of June, I have action in the reverse. I have compromise in the reverse. I have complicated in the reverse. I have introverted in the reverse and I have forgiveness. Okay. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be walking away from a relationship. I feel like with this complicated, um, I don't know why I just heard friends with benefits, but for some of you, you may be involved in a relationship that's just friends with benefits and you're going to be choosing to no longer be involved in this type of relationship. It's like, yeah, you're not going to be willing to compromise. You know, you're going to realize that this relationship is not going to be able to grow. It's not going to be able to become what you want it to be. And you're going to be expressing this in the month of June and you are no longer going to desire to be connected to this person. I feel like you're going to be moving forward. Yes, you're going to be leaving this whole situation behind. And I heard commitment because you do desire commitment. You do desire to be in a healthy relationship and this person can't give it to you. And again, I heard friends with benefits because it's a relationship that is, you know, based on, you know, the physical. It's not really anything deeper there. So it's like you want something that's actually going to be a substance and this relationship isn't it. So it's like you're finally going to state your truth and walk away from this person because you're going to realize that, you know what, this relationship isn't going anywhere. With forgiveness, I feel like for others of you, you may have someone coming back and asking for your forgiveness, someone from the past, someone... um I heard who betrayed you. Yes, someone who betrayed you. And they are going to be asking you for forgiveness. And I heard, do you accept my apology? So yes, they are going to be um, asking you to forgive them for something that they have done in the past. Yes, introverted in the reverse. It's like they're going to be speaking some type of truth to you. I feel like this person is going to be open. I heard, tell me what happened. So this person is going to be very honest with you because they really do want to make amends and move forward. So let's get one more message. Okay. 
I have sanctuary. It says a sanctuary resides inside you no matter what is happening. The inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath, enter and sit down on the throne of your heart. Yes, sanctuary. Yes, your sanctuary is within you. Whatever it is that, you know, you may endure, whatever setback, challenges and relationships, deception, always remember that your peace rests within you. Yes, your inner temple. It says it beckons you to enter, to be one with yourself. Never lose sight of yourself. Just going back to loyal and some of you wanting to be committed to someone who can't give you what you want. It's like, no. Connect with yourself. Connect with your higher self. Pay attention to your intuition. Know that you deserve better. Yes. It says sit down on the throne of your own heart. Of your own heart. It starts with you. It starts with you loving yourself. You understanding your worth. You understanding what you deserve. And not willing to accept anything less than that. Yes, you are your sanctuary. You are your peace. So I hope that these messages resonate. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.